Hey everybody, it's Jeff Quinton. Today I'm gonna to answer the question is, are we actually headed into, or is this a housing bubble? Welcome back, it's Jeff here. Yes, I'm your host of the thequintongroup.tv. So talking, is today a, or is, are we heading into a housing bubble? Well, you know, everyone says to me, and many sellers are always asking, where's the market going? What's going on? Is it gonna, is it gonna crash and all this good stuff? Well, you know, Recently, obviously, in that 2005, six, seven, eight range, and especially in our market here, we started to see it, you know, late 2005 and then 06 before it actually came out nationally that there was a bubble and a crash in 08. But ultimately, the uh, circumstances are completely different than what it was back then. You know, back then, a few things that were happening. One is there was a ton of irresponsible lending, right? If you can remember, buyers were buying properties, putting five, 10% down you know, very little uh, amount of money down buying properties. Lenders are coming in and qualifying people that most likely probably shouldn't be able to afford it. And then also they're getting adjustable rate mortgages, right? So they're getting in for a one year, three year, five year adjustable. And ultimately when those rates adjusted, they couldn't afford it. And they had no equity, right? So that's a challenge right now. It's just a total different market back then to what it is now. So the answer to the question is, are we heading to a crash? My opinion is no and it's not in a bubble. Number one is because it's a different type of buyer today than what it was then. Number two is, you know, today, you know, if you look across the nation, at least in the US, um, most right now, at least in our market, I'll give you more specific, is uh, about 50% of our homeowners have 50% or, or greater in amount of equity. Meaning, you know, if they own a home right now, say for 600,000, they own 300,000. There's a ton of equity in the property. So even if the market was to adjust by say 10%, 600 to 540, they still have $240,000 in equity. You know, when you have that much, it's not gonna flip where someone's gonna be upside down like it was in the crash. So plenty of um, sellers out there with equity. In addition right now, just another fact is 90% of homeowners across the US right now have interest rates locked in, interest rates locked in, right now uh, below 5%. So the challenge is that, you know, what we're gonna see is that the seller today, if they wanna sell a home, and if they wanna buy a home with the right interest rates rising, they might sell a home, say it, that's locked in for a three and a half or 4% rate, and now they're gonna have to buy one for five and a half. Well, the affordability of that is, um, is, is much higher, and they're gonna spend a little bit more in price. So the challenge is that many sellers still aren't going to sell. They're gonna keep and hold the property because it's more affordable for them, and they got a lot of equity. So we're gonna have a little bit of a, uh, you know, a place here, in my opinion, where supply and demand is gonna to continue to be very low in supply. Demand is still here. And by the way, even with interest rates at five, five and a half, six percent, whatever they end up getting to, still record lows if you go back over the past 30 years, all right? And then lastly, you know, what's different with a, a bubble? And I'll tell you this, especially in our market, we're blessed to be in a secondary resort market, but overall, there's still a ton of cash buyers out there. A ton, especially in the higher end, over a million bucks. I'd say about 60, 70% of our homes that we're selling in that range, you know, are paying cash. So when you have cash, there's no bubble, there's no urgency, there's no, there's nothing there that's gonna cause people to say, hey, I need my money back, or I'm upside down, or, or cause that. So, you know, the fear of a bubble, in my opinion, is not there. Will there be some adjustment? For sure. I mean, everything goes up and goes down. So the question I always have is, hey, is this the right time to buy? You know, depends on. I guess the question I always ask is, well, when are you going to sell, right? If you're going to buy now and you want to sell in a year, probably not the best time. But if you're going to buy right now and you're going to hold this property for 10 years, it's always a great time to buy, right? We always say, don't wait to buy real estate, buy real estate, then wait. So I think we're in a good space right now. We've got plenty of uh, still great buys out there. Inventory is still low. Values are still rising. We're still going to see appreciation, maybe not at the level that uh, we've seen in the past couple of years but still in a very strong market and still a great opportunity to buy as well. So anyway, any other thoughts? If you're thinking about getting your home in the market, we're going to value uh, with the ones which are the best buys out there. Call us direct or email me, jeff at thequintongroup.com or call 609-398-5333. Again, thanks for watching.